Welcome back. So in the previous lesson, we discussed about various properties, sorry, various assumptions of the indifference curve. That is ordinal utility analysis, ordinal utility theory. In this lesson, we will discuss about exactly what are indifference curves and what is an indifference map. So indifference curve, जो भी combinations consumer को same satisfaction देते हैं, उसको हम बोलते हैं कि वो combination of goods एक indifference curve पे लाए कर रहे हैं, क्योंकि consumer उन दो combinations में indifferent होता है, वो उसको किसी को किसी एक को वो ज्यादा prefer नहीं करता है, so we say all the combinations of the goods lying on a consumer's indifference curve, they are equally desirable or equally preferred by the consumer because they give same satisfaction to him. So the consumer will be indifferent to them and it will not matter to him that which combination he gets. Next is that higher indifference curves will always be preferred than lower indifference curve. This means that the higher high hoega indifference curve as compared to other indifference curve, utna hi zyada hum higher wale ko prefer karenge kyunki wo ye indicate kar raha hai ki hame higher indifference curve pe zyada satisfaction mil rahi hai. So <clears throat> this is because the greater quantity of a good gives an individual more satisfaction. Excuse me, please. Than the small quantity, the quantities of other goods with him remaining same. Thus, higher indifference curve naturally means that it will give the consumer a higher satisfaction level. Next, we say, the indifference curve bilkul perfect smooth hota hai. Kahin pe, kahin pe hamara kink nahi hota hai. Iska matlab hota hai ki jo bhi goods hum consider kar rahe hai, wo hamare perfectly divisible goods hai. क्योंकि अगर हम उसको अगर हम बोले वो हम उसको डिवाइड नहीं कर सकते तो वो स्मूथनेस नहीं आती सो वी से द स्मूथनेस एंड कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ एन इंडिफरेंस कर्व मींस दैट गुड्स इन क्वेश्चन दे आर अज्यूम्ड टू बी परफेक्टली डिवाइजेबल नेक्स्ट द इंडिफरेंस कर्व डज नॉट इंडिकेट कि हम कितना ज्यादा हमने अभी ऊपर क्या बोला थर्ड प्रॉपर्टी में कि अगर एक इंडिफरेंस कर्व ऊपर लाए करता है दूसरे इंडिफरेंस कर्व से तो हम ज्यादा प्रेफर करेंगे दैट इज फॉर श्योर क्योंकि वहां से हमें ज्यादा सेटिस्फैक्शन लेवल मिलेगा पर हम यह नहीं देख सकते कि हमें कितना ज्यादा सेटिस्फैक्शन मिल रहा है क्योंकि हमने यह बोला है यह ऑर्डिनल यूटिलिटी थ्योरी है हम यहां पे सेटिस्फैक्शन मेजर नहीं कर सकते हैं हम इसे क्वांटिफाई नहीं कर सकते हैं सो द इंडिफरेंस कर्व डज नॉट इंडिकेट exactly how much satisfaction is derived by the consumer as the ordinal utility does not involve the quantitative measurability of utility in indifference curve analysis we just order we just rank our combinations of consumptions next is an indifference map indifference map hota hai jaise ki aap is screen pe dekh rahe ho yahan pe humne x axis pe good x liya hai y axis pe good y liya hai अब ये जो शेप है हमारे इंडिफरेंस कर्व की ये ऐसी शेप क्यों है ये हम डिस्कस करेंगे जब हम प्रॉपर्टीज डिस्कस करेंगे नेक्स्ट लेसन में सो उसमें से इंडिफरेंस मैप होता है जहां पे हमारे बहुत सारे इंडिफरेंस कर्व होते हैं जो ये बताते हैं कि हम हमें कितने कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ गुड्स से हम कितना ज्यादा ले पा रहे हैं हमारा कौन सा हायर इंडिफरेंस कर्व जा रहा है बट at the given money income of the consumer. This is very important. Agar hamari consumer ki income change ho jati hai, to indifference map bhi completely change ho jayega. So here we say, indifference map, it represents tastes and preferences of the two goods of a consumer between different combinations of them. And an indifference map consists of indifference curve and indifference map portrays consumer scale of preferences so we say so long as tastes and preferences are same the indifference map will be same and if they change if they change then the new map needs to be drawn so if consumer ki income change hogi to uska taste and preferences bhi change hoega aur jaise hi taste and preferences change hoega indifference map change ho jayega matlab consumer ki preferences change ho jayengi so here in this diagram we say that this indifference curve 1, this is preferred than indifference curve 2 because this is a higher indifference curve. In this way, this is IC2, hai, indifference curve 2, this indifference curve 3 is preferred because this is a 
हायर इंडिफरेंस का है बट इट कैन नॉट बी स्टेटेड कि हमारा ये जो आईसी वन है इससे हमें कितना ज्यादा सेटिस्फेक्शन मिल रहा है एज कम्पेयर टू आई सी टू या एज कम्पेयर टू आई सी थ्री हाउ मच हायर हम ये स्टेट नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि हम सेटिस्फेक्शन को मेजर नहीं कर सकते हैं क्वांटिफाई नहीं कर सकते हैं Now, because ordinal utility only talks about the qualitative differences, and it does not talk about the quantitative differences, and not about the quantitative differences. So, in this lesson, we discussed about what exactly are indifference curves, and what do we mean by indifference map. In the next class, we will discuss about the various uh, properties of indifference curve, slope of indifference curve, and other analysis. Now, this PDF, I will, um, I will give the link for this PDF, ताकि आप download कर सको. आपके पास एक readable PDF भी हो. When you are going through the lectures in the description, वहाँ पे आपको एक Telegram link भी मिलेगा, जहाँ पे मैं time to time other notes भी share करती रहती हूँ. So you can join that Telegram, and you will find the playlist of microeconomics and macroeconomics. So you can and other also from the channel. which might be helpful to you and in case if you want any other topic or if you want me to cover any other topic you can let me know in the comments all the best for your preparation please take care